and so Raven became part of the family. Together they lived like all families, sharing laughter and love. Like all mothers, the girl took good care of the raven child, and like all grandfathers, the old man spent many hours playing with the raven child, making him toys and inventing games. And raven child, he watched and he waited and planned. And like all children always do, he figured out a way to get what he wanted. This box is not for you. I want box. <coughs> no child. Another box, please, Grandpa, please. It took a long time and all of Raven's talents at gaining sympathy, balanced with well-placed and loud tantrums. left. The raven child then begged in his most pitiful voice to be allowed to hold the light. Only to hold, to see it just for a moment, and mother too. No, you have let all my other gifts go. Not even my daughter has seen the light. No one shall until, until. Until what? It's the last thing I'll ever ask of you. I promise. I will. Here it is then. Are the light bringer then? Goodbye, my light. From touching the sun, Raven's feathers were burnt black and are still black to this day. Look at it! Look at all that! And now you have to give it back, Raven. It isn't yours. <laughs> it's too late, brother! Look! It isn't yours, Raven. You can't keep it. <sighs> yes. 
your right, then no one will have it. No! And Raven threw the light so hard that no one, not even Eagle, could ever catch it. The old man mourned the loss of his most precious light and the treachery of his grandchild. Now what will I do? What can I do? There is nothing else for me. And as the light of this new sun fell across him, the old man looked up and for the very first time he truly saw his daughter. And the old man saw that she was as beautiful as spring dew at sunrise. And he began to feel much better.